Dear customer, hello and welcome to this short introduction on how to handle and operate the Terra VR Builder 2014. This new version of the Terra VR Builder features a new, modern and customer oriented interface. The click button at the upper right is well arranged. As the click buttons for objects are now assembled into categories that can be selected from a separate module and project catalog. This catalog can be opened by clicking on the button with four diamonds or the same button on the left side. Another possibility is clicking with the right mouse button on the library and choosing the menu point module and project catalog. Then a new window will pop up in the left part with all the relevant categories that offer objects for selection. We recommend establishing an individual library consisting of frequently used objects as to have them easily ready for application without the burden of prolonged search in the catalog. To compile an individual library, one has to click on the button with the little yellow star and assign a title to it. I will now name it Bib01. Press Enter to accept, and on the left side of the screen, an empty library named Bib01 appears. Using drag and drop, I can equip my library with objects that will be essential for my construction. I easily drag them over here, I scan through the categories, and stock up my library bit by bit. Naturally, one may change the order in the library by choice, and of course, any time you want. Other objects that are not in use can be removed easily with a click on the right mouse button. For swift and easy assembly, I turn to the catalog or to the library. I can also easily pull objects using drag and drop, taking them directly from the catalog and pulling them into the scene. To ensure precise application, a grid pops up. To enable the tagging of exact points, also through line capture. So if I activate here the function of capturing points, one sees how the marker snaps exactly at the point. An object that is taken from the library will be inserted where the marker is located at the moment. I pull this object here into the picture and at once it is visible. All objects can be placed swiftly and exactly. For example, I select for my scene several pillars that I distribute randomly in the grid order. Another very useful feature of the drag and drop function is that the user can continue working at any random access point. Prior activation of the access point is not necessary if the user wants to continue work at this place. Rather, I drag the new object into the scene to the access point. The software takes care of the exact positioning and directioning. I will demonstrate this by adding a curve here, to which I then pull a straight line using drag and drop over here that will be directed automatically to the right spot. Some buttons that don't represent objects, for example those that initiate subprojects, are located on the right side above the project tree. To display routes for models of the floor conveyor, the user has to search in the 3D area under the menu point called Routes. All other buttons will appear in the list in the upper bar. From left to right, there are file management and the settings of the scene. You will also recognize the button for the grid, which you may blend in or out. Next will be the administration of the viewpoints and flight scenes. The overview of the viewpoints can be found in this list. Here I am able to shift back to the start view or to the recently selected object or an entire scene, seen from different directions. Now from above, the entire scene, and now only the selected object. Additionally, it is possible to switch into an orthogonal view. For this purpose, I check this box or uncheck it to switch back to the perspective view. The user can establish an individual view by only clicking on this button. If this view is named, it will be easy to reselect the view later. In the upper line, one also finds buttons for static models. The aforementioned line catch, the measurement function, the source dialog, the animation and the performance control, and lastly on the outside, the velocity parameters. Well, that's it for today. I want to thank you for your interest in the Terra VR Builder and wish you all the best until next time.